everybody, welcome to Doing Dental School. My name is Kajal Khatri. I am in my D one and a half summer, heading into my D2 year. And I'm really excited to take you along this week. It is going to be a crazy week. I have a lot of stuff going on, a lot of exciting things happening. But today is Monday. I have Presres, as I do every single Monday. Presres is preservation and restoration of tooth structure. So basically it's where I learn how to drill on teeth and how I learn how to fill teeth as well. So today, this morning, we have a quiz at 8 a.m. in about 30 minutes on class three preparations and restorations for composite. And then I have a project that I will be working on. We're gonna be working on class three composite preparations and restorations as our project today. This is the first time I'm doing it. So we'll see how that goes. And then we have a lecture later today about, um, it's called build a tooth. I'm not really sure what that means. I'm pretty sure it's like aesthetic composite layering, that type of thing. So we'll see how that goes, but happy Monday. And I'm excited to take you along my week. actually the evening time right now. I'm about to head to bed, but I realized that I never actually updated you guys after this morning. Um, I had press press, as I said. We worked on those class threes. They were actually a lot easier than I thought they were going to be because they are really tiny preps. And I actually watched, um, I'm sure most dental students know of Richard Stevenson. I watched his video on the class three composite preps and restorations. And I loved his tricks, especially for the restorations. Like he really kind of just like dumbed it down for you, showed you all the individual steps and some tips and tricks, especially with using that mylar strip. And so it was kind of nice to kind of just go in and practice that. And it was a lot of fun. So it was nice to just be there and get some feedback as well. After class, I actually ended up taking some time because this week is so busy and I will get into that a little bit later. You'll kind of see it all unfold throughout the week. But um, my boyfriend and I decided to just go and grab a little snack and sit at a restaurant and just talk for a bit. We like to do this every once in a while, just to make sure that we're getting our quality time in together. And I know that the rest of this week is super crazy for me and for him as well and our schedules don't really align and so we wanted to make sure that we had some quality time to just spend together and just sit and chat for a bit so we did that and I came home and had just spent some time with my family and got a little bit of work done so it's been a good night a chill night um and so I'm really excited for tomorrow though tomorrow is a crazy day just even thinking about tomorrow is making me really worried because I want to make sure that I don't forget anything that is happening because I feel like there's a lot of just little like tiny things that are happening that I could forget. So I will take you along my date tomorrow though. But for now, I think I'm just going to head to bed and try to relax a bit. just kind of like run through what we have going on today because as I said we have a, a lot going on today and I'm very afraid that I'm gonna forget something but so this morning I actually woke up super early and bought a parking pass for this upcoming school year which is quite a bit of money um, especially for an overnight pass to have your car at school um, I just wanted to make sure that I could park in the structure that was closest to my apartment because it can definitely be a hassle to like walk have to walk super far um, or go to like a different parking lot and I also wanted to make sure that I was in a structure and not in like a ground parking lot that's just like my personal preference so um, I woke up and did that and then right now it's about 6 44 a.m. super early still and I am headed over to Starbucks I have a shift at Starbucks today um, 
and basically I kind of just work there once a month so not super often but I absolutely love my shifts at Starbucks it's kind of just like a good break from all of the stuff that relates to dentistry in my life kind of just lets me like take a break from all of it to have that going on in the morning then I have an ergonomics lunch and learn during lunch which this lunch and learn is put on by the ASDA health and wellness committee so it's kind of nice to so this physical therapist, I believe actually did like his whole dissertation on dental ergonomics, which if you didn't know, ergonomics is kind of just the posture when you practice and making sure that, you, that you're creating good habits to make sure that you can have a really long career because a lot of the times dentists will actually like have really bad posture and they'll create further problems, which can really kind of cut your entire career short. So I'm really excited to go and learn about that. And then I do actually have class. I have three hours of oral medicine lecture today. And then later this evening, I have a District 7 membership meeting. So I'm on the membership committee with my leadership development position. So it's just our committee meeting. I believe we're talking about our District 7 meeting, which will be really exciting and kind of just some of the programming that we're gonna plan for that. So I'm definitely very excited to go and learn and kind of figure out what we're gonna have coming up here. So that's kind of the plan for today. So I just got back from class. I actually went over to one of the clinics and looked over a patient chart after class because next week I have my first patient, my first profi on a real life patient. I've done a profi on one of my classmates, but I, this is the first time that I'm actually doing a profi on my patient. And so a few weeks ago, I actually assisted one of my classmates and then he's gonna assist me this week. And so I wanted to just go in the clinic and review that patient's chart, make sure I kind of know what I'm getting myself into and kind of know what to expect. Also making sure that I know like, the computer and electronic side of everything and making sure like how do I get a swipe how do I get like a POE check that type of stuff so just making sure I know like the computer stuff of it I also wanted to make a list of questions because I'm meeting with my tutor tomorrow to go over my profi and just ask her all of the questions that I have so I wanted to go in and just make sure that if there was anything specific about the patient that I could ask my classmate about it and she could kind of help me through it so, so I did that after class and now I am home I have about 45 minutes until my district 7 membership meeting so I think I'm just gonna take some time and relax I might watch a little bit of Netflix or read for a bit just to kind of decompress after class and and then hopefully tonight I can kind of just spend some time with my family and just maybe take a walk outside. It's absolutely beautiful outside. It's like not too hot, not too cold. So I hopefully can go for a walk or something like that later today. So. Hello everybody, happy Wednesday. Today, um, it's actually pretty late in the day already. It's almost like two o'clock, but this morning I had class from 10 to 12. We had actually a dermatologist come in from the Medical College of Wisconsin and he lectured two hours straight. It was like 208 slides um, about different diseases and conditions of the skin that we might see, especially on the face and around the oral cavity. So it was kind of cool. A little bit long, of course, but um, it was definitely nice. And it's nice that out of those 208 slides, he gave us stars of what we actually need to know for the exam, which is always, always much appreciated. But after that, I met up with my tutor to go over my profi patient next week. We went through all of the computer stuff that I was kind of hazy on, like, you know, how do I get a start check or what do I pull up when um, the doc comes for a POE because we don't do our own exams yet. It was nice to just go through all of the computer stuff and then also go through and just like review all of the steps of the profi. And now I am sitting at the library. I have a little bit of time before I actually have a call with Haley, Haley Schultz, who has a YouTube channel related to um, 
dental school and she also has an Instagram and a podcast. And so if you guys remember um, a while ago, actually, I was on her podcast. I was talking about my first semester as D1 and kind of my transition from college to D1 year. And so we're kind of going to do like a D1 second semester, like recap and what I'm looking forward to in D2 year. So definitely keep your eyes and ears out for that podcast episode. I'm not really sure when it's going to come out, but I'm excited to talk to her and just catch up with her. And then later today, I have book club, which I am so excited for. This is the first time, I guess, that Asda has done a summer book for book club, but I am very excited. If you've watched any of my previous videos, you know that book club days are like my favorite days of the semester. And at least at Marquette, our Asda book club is really just, we kind of go there. We talk about the book maybe for like 20 to 30 minutes and just chit chat, see what we liked and didn't like about the book. But aside from that, it's just time for us to hang out with our friends and also like talk to people you know like upperclassmen who maybe have gone through the same classes as us and kind of just like talk to them see how they're feeling and just get to know them as well so it's really fun they actually bring food and drinks for us and today because it is summer book club we're going to the beach which i know a lot of people might not you know put this together but milwaukee is right on lake michigan and so we have a lot of beaches here in the summertime that we can go and just like i mean it basically feels like you're on vacation because it feels feels like a nice white sandy beach. So yeah, later today I'm going to the beach. Our summer book was actually Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. She also wrote Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, which is a really popular book right now on like TikTok and Instagram. So it's the same author. I wouldn't say this book is as good. I didn't like it as much as Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, but it was still an okay book. Um, I think we're all just like bringing our books today to the beach and just reading while we kind of have some time to relax so that'll be the plan for today lots of fun and exciting things happening It is really early in the morning. It's about 6.40 right now. I'm sitting here just eating my breakfast. I have about 20 minutes until I have to leave for class this morning. We have digital dentistry. Um, so basically two weeks ago, we did an inlay and we did three inlays on number 31. So we basically got to practice three times, which is kind of nice. And then we worked with our professor and the faculty that was in our section to choose which one we liked the best and which one really like had the most ideal form, I guess. And so we chose which one we kind of liked the best. And then last week we did a digital scan of that inlay. So we basically just took number 30 and number 31 we did a digital scan of that inlay. And then today we're taking that digital scan and actually designing the inlay. And I guess I've said inlay a lot, but what an inlay is, is basically it is um, something that goes within the tooth. It's essentially like you can, it has the form of basically like a filling and a preparation for tooth. And so what an inlay is, is it designs that filling portion, like the restoration portion of the tooth in a computer. And you send that design to a lab and they'll send it back where you can actually place that restoration material right into the tooth. And so it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool that we get to learn how to do it too, um, because I know this isn't normally always common practice, but it does have some indications. So it's kind of cool to be able to learn about this. And then after digital dentistry, I have an hour for lunch and I have a radiology rotation today. So I had my radiology rotation for like D1 year where they kind of teach you how to take x-rays, how to take a full mouth series, all that stuff where we practice on the mannequin and then we also get to practice on a real life patient. I had this radiology rotation actually back in, I believe it was like November. It's been a pretty long time. And today is basically like a review. So I think we have 30 minutes where we'll just go through and review everything back from November. I also took time the past few days to just go through and rewatch all 
all the videos make sure I know what I'm doing, especially like the orientation of all of the different pieces for the FMX. So, so today I'm going into radiology. I believe they have two patients for me to take a full month series on. So that'll be kind of fun, kind of a good review of stuff that I haven't done in a really long time. And then after my radiology rotation, I'm coming home. I actually have to pack today. So, so today will actually probably be the last day that I include in this video, just because tomorrow I'm actually going to Atlanta, Georgia for a family wedding. So tomorrow we do have class. We have two hours of class. And I emailed my professor letting him know that, hey, like I have to go to Georgia. My flight is at 5 a.m. So I actually got to get to the airport super crazy early, like 3.30 a.m. or something to go to Atlanta. So. I am excited. I have not packed a single thing. My parents and my sister actually left this morning. They left at 5 a.m. this morning, which is why I can be super loud in the house right now because I'm alone. So, but they left this morning because they, my mom and dad both took off of work today and tomorrow and my sister is on summer vacation. So she doesn't have any classes right now. And unfortunately I have class all day today that I really couldn't miss, especially my radiology rotation. I really didn't want to miss. So I figured that just missing my two hours of lecture tomorrow would be okay with my professor and I got it cleared by everyone. So I'm leaving super early tomorrow. I have not picked a single thing. My parents took some of like my fancier clothes and a nice like, you know, garment bag and stuff. But I have to pack all of my like normal clothes. There's a little picnic. So packing clothes for that. So that'll be what I'm doing tonight. I also have a district seven meeting tonight as well. So hopefully I can get all that done and be ready to leave super crazy early tomorrow morning. Okay, I'm literally already back from digital dentistry. Um, we did that inlay design and it was actually relatively easy compared to some of the other projects we've done. It didn't take very long. So I got it done in about like an hour maybe. And then usually over the summer, especially because I am at home and my house is about like 25, 30 minutes away from campus, I usually don't come home in between classes ever. I don't think I've ever done that over the summer, but because I do have such like a busy day and I wanna get a lot of stuff done and my rotation doesn't start until one o'clock, I figured that just coming home today and being productive during this time would be helpful, especially because I don't really have anything to like sit and study for necessarily at school. So I probably just would have like looked over some stuff for a few weeks from now, but especially because I need to pack. I also had to stop by the post office, which I just did. I also forgot my lunch this morning. So just all of that combined, I was like, you know what? Let's just spend like three to four hours at home, finish some packing and just clean up a little bit and finish all of the last minute stuff that I need to finish at home before I go back for my rotation and before I leave tomorrow morning. So that's hopefully what I'm gonna just get done for the next few hours, just chill, do a little bit of packing, eat some lunch, lunch and just also look over some stuff for my radiology rotation this afternoon. and I am basically done with my week. Radiology was really good. Um, I was a little bit nervous because it had been so long since I had my first radiology rotation, but um, they were super nice. They reviewed a little bit beforehand and then um, they also are always there just like coaching you. The, the ladies who are in radiology at Marquette are so wonderful and I cannot say enough good things about them. They're very, very helpful and they're always just willing to like sit there and teach you and learn. And so it's super nice and it went really well. And then after radiology, um, I've just been running some errands and then also just prepping a lot for leaving for Atlanta tomorrow. So currently my family left me with the task of emptying the dishwasher and, you know, taking out the trash and all that stuff before we leave. So um, I'm just going around and doing that. I have my district seven meeting later today in about 30 minutes. 
so I'll attend that, but that's about it for the week. It's been a really busy week. I feel like it just completely flew by and I had a lot going on. So hopefully it kind of gave you some insight into a really busy week as a dental student and what kind of summer is like as a dental student as well. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. I'll see you next time. Bye.